whenever you're ready. Okay. My claim on that that I'm receiving is that lowering the drinking age in America would be beneficial to today's society. So my opponent claimed that lowering the drinking age would help lower the rates on injuries and fatality caused by drinking. Lowering the drinking age would allow kids to learn how to drink more responsibly, and that if drinking, if the drinking age was 18, colleges would be able to cope better with drinking that happens at schools. So my response to these claims are that lowering the drinking age does not lower the rates on injuries and fatality, but rather increases them. She said that 18-year-olds would be allowed to go to bars and restaurants to drink, where the drinking is supervised, which prevents overconsumption. But the U.S. Department of Human Health and Services says that about half of the drivers killed arrested for driving under the influence did their drinking at licensed establishments. So lowering the age to 18 actually allows a greater segment of the population to drink in bars and nightclubs, which are not safe environments. The alcohol clinical experimental research states that 76% of bars have sold more alcohol to obviously intoxicated customers. So drinking under supervision does not even prevent overconsumption. Also, raising the drinking age to 21 has decreased the percentage of fatal traffic accidents for those between the ages of 18 to 20 by 13% and has saved approximately 21,887 lives from 1975 to 2002. She also claimed that people would not be hesitant to get medical help for alcoholic poisoning because they would not have to fear the consequences for underage drinking. This is irrelevant because there are always going to be younger kids illegally drinking, and if 18-year-olds have access to alcohol, then it will be easier to underage drink because high school seniors will be able to buy alcohol to supply for their younger classmates. This segues into her next point that students wouldn't find as great an appeal in drinking because it wouldn't be forbidden. Kids enjoy drinking because it's exciting that it's illegal. But her claim proves that lowering the acceptable drinking age actually lowers the age kids would begin illegally drinking, which would be even worse. Lowering the drinking age from 21 would give high schoolers and even middle schoolers access to alcohol. Newly legal drinkers often per purchase alcohol for their underage peers, creating a trickle-down effect. The alcohol program at the University of Minnesota says that surveys show that the most common source of alcohol among 18 to 20 year olds is from their 21 to 24 year old peers. So lowering the drinking age does not eliminate underage drinking, it just makes it start even younger. Next, the idea that it would be beneficial for parents to legally be able to teach their kids how to drink responsibly before college is irrelevant because even with the parents' consent, 18 year olds are not physically ready to consume alcohol. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission says it would be medically irresponsible because the brain's frontal lobes continue to develop through adolescence and young adulthood. Alcohol consumption can interfere with this development, potentially causing chronic problems such as a greater vulnerability to addiction, dangerous risk-taking behavior, reduced decision-making ability, memory loss, depression, violence, and suicide. So the earlier a person begins alcohol use, the greater the chances are <coughs> of that person becoming an alcoholic later in life. So even if parents are allowing their kids to drink, they're setting them up for a bad lifestyle. Finally, her last secondary claim was that colleges would be able to cope better with the drinking that happens at school. She said having bars on campus will help make sure that students do not consume a dangerous amount of alcohol because it is in a supervised setting. So this would allow students to openly drink on campus, which includes college freshmen who are 18 year olds typically entering a new phase of independence from their parents through college or the workforce and are more susceptible to binge drinking risky sexual activity and other irresponsible behavior due to their lack of maturity. So I don't know how having in 
intoxicated students roaming around our campus would be beneficial to today's society. Teens who drink alcohol have a higher chance of academic failure. Allowing teens to drink will have a negative effect on their academic performance. <coughs> so lowering the drinking age to 18 would cause more in injuries and deaths from drinking, stunt teens' physical body development, and affect their academic performance. In conclusion, with all of these new facts in mind, we can conclude that lowering the drinking age would only have a negative toll on society. All right, all the structural things are very good. You have a good uh, preview of what the secondary claims were that the advocate presented and what your responses are going to be. As you get to each of those points, your counterclaims are very clear. You had good evidence on each of the points that you're presenting. I didn't really hear much analysis of the evidence or the reasoning that the advocate used. Almost all of your points are um, counterclaims. And I think you developed the counterclaims very well. And in fact, in a couple of spots, I think you have uh, excellent analysis about how the counterclaim applies. For instance, the data that you come up with on uh, drinking in authorized places and uh, then your data that says the vast majority of people who are arrested for drunk driving, in fact, drank at uh, authorized places. And so I think that does respond to that point pretty well. Um, like I said, you might want to, though, uh, t be ready to attack the evidence and the reasoning of the advocate a little bit more as well in presenting your own counterclaims. I think you've got very good counterclaims and excellent evidence on all of those points. You could use a little bit more energy in your presentation. Thank you, though, for starting us off.